welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I have a two, maybe three part video series that I wanted to do and this is talking about what are some good, clean, healthy options to pick up from your local Trader Joe's store? Once I started doing the research for this video, I realized that there are a ton of products in Trader Joe's that are good, clean eating options. So I decided that because of the quantity of items that I had, I wanted to divide this series up into at least two, and again, maybe three videos. So today I'm gonna share with you some of your grocery, pantry, refrigerator type of essentials from Trader Joe's that are based on clean eating. I wanted to share this with you first just due to everything going on in our world. If you can at least get to Trader Joe's and stock up on these items, most of these items are shelf stable and if they are refrigerated items, they last quite a while in the refrigerator. So they're good options for you to have on hand when you can't get to the grocery store as regular as normal. So today I'm gonna to talk all things pantry, shelf stable and refrigerator, Trader Joe's items that are clean eating and awesome for you to add to your next grocery list. So let's jump right in. Joe's whole grain crisp bread. I will be inserting pictures for you guys of the items. That way it's easy for you to find the next time that you head over to Trader Joe's. So this crisp bread is basically a seed bread. So it's full of really good whole food ingredients. Great to top with cheese, hummus. You could dip this. You could even make avocado toast using this as your base in lieu of bread. But it's a great option that you can just throw in your pantry and have on hand. You could even add some nut butter if you wanted to make a peanut butter sandwich with the crisp bread. So again, it's a great pantry staple. Also, Trader Joe's has a fantastic organic turkey breast over by their meats and cheeses. Literally, this meat is meat and salt. There is nothing added to this. It does have a pretty long refrigerator life, and it's really, really delicious. So again, you can use this for sandwiches, breakfast, or lunch. You could even roll this up with some string cheese and make yourself a turkey roll up, lots of options. And again, it has quite the refrigerator shelf life. Also from Trader Joe's is their organic applesauce. I find this applesauce to be amazing. It has great texture and flavor. It's organic and it's super affordable. And you know, we substitute applesauce in a lot of baking recipes. Plus it's zero smart points on all plants. So you could even have it as a fruit option if finding good in season fresh fruit is rough for you. Applesauce is a great option. Also, Trader Joe's sells ghee. It is not organic grass-fed, so it's not necessarily the best option for ghee, but if you're already at Trader Joe's, it's a good option to pick up, and it's their clarified butter. It's a great choice for frying or cooking things in. They also have organic olive oil at Trader Joe's, which is great. It's organic, it's olive oil, and then they also carry the Chosen Foods avocado oil. So you can basically stock up on those three main oils at Trader Joe's for really affordable prices. Now I will let you know that if you are a Costco member, Costco sells the Chosen Foods avocado oil for a steal of a price. It's about four times the size of the Trader Joe's bottle and it's only a couple of dollars more. But again, if you're already out and you're at Trader Joe's, it's a great option to have on hand and that's the Chosen Foods avocado oil. Almond flour is another great choice from Trader Joe's. Again, your price at Costco is going to be a little bit better, but again, you're already there. Go ahead and pick up their unblanched almond flour and they also sell coconut flour. So you have a couple of nut flour options available at your local Trader Joe's store. Unfortunately, they don't sell organic rolled oats. And I always say buy your oats organic because they're heavily, heavily sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So oats are one of those things you really just want to buy organic. And again, they don't have rolled oats. The Thrive Market though does sell organic rolled oats. And there's a link down below for free product when you join the Thrive Market free shipping, free goodies with your order. You guys know I love the Thrive. That's where I actually buy my organic rolled oats, but Trader Joe's does sell organic quick cook, cook steel cut oats. Whew, that's a mouthful. So they do sell that, so it's a great option while you're there, and steel cut oats are in their most natural form of the oat, and these being organic is great because you're taking out 
all of those extra pesticides. There's a couple of great pasta options at Trader Joe's as well. One is their organic black bean rotini. So those of you on the purple plan, all of these pastas I'm going to share with you are zero smart points. If you're looking for just a whole organic ingredient pasta, the black bean pasta is a great option. They also have a red lentil and quinoa spaghetti, which is another great option for you to have on hand. And lastly, Trader Joe's does sell a couple of organic quinoas. They have organic red quinoa and organic tricolor quinoa. So a couple of quinoa options. Again, all of these pastas and quinoa are zero points on purple and they're really really good smart points on both blue and green and they're shelf stable you can have them in your pantry for a quick easy dinner add some sauce some protein some veggies and you have dinner i always buy my coconut aminos from trader joe's because they are absolutely affordable they're organic and coconut aminos are a healthier substitution for soy sauce usually a little bit goes a long way so you can even get more out of your bottle of the coconut aminos and use less and therefore reduce your sodium in your dishes that call for soy sauce so best price i found for coconut aminos is at trader joe's also they sell my favorite chicken broth and that is their organic free range chicken broth great ingredients really thick hearty broth that has that nice yellow color so you're no you know you're getting a good quality chicken broth and it's less than two dollars a box it's organic it's free range it's a win another thing i generally pick up is their organic coconut cream this is essentially coconut milk in a can which is great for baking it's excellent to add to smoothies or quinoa bowls to make it nice and creamy they do also have a light version of their coconut cream but it's the best price less than two dollars a can it's organic and it really is absolutely delicious i also pick up my baking powder and baking soda from trader joe's 99 cents a can and it has that lid on it so it lasts forever in the pantry make sure you watch your expiration dates of these two items because once they reach and surpass that expiration date they don't have that same leveling power as they do fresh so uh, every couple months i just pick up a new fresh baking powder and baking soda canned tuna and salmon are another couple of great options at trader joe's super shelf stable they have albacore tuna and they have canned salmon great to make tuna salad salmon salad you can even make salmon patties out of the canned salmon and again it's not something you have to worry about buying fresh putting in the refrigerator freezing going bad it's all in a can so it's super easy and great prices at Trader Joe's I also always pick up the jar of Kalamata olives from Trader Joe's again fantastic price and these are nice to add to pretty much anything you can add these to your pasta salads pasta dishes you can put them on salad you can eat them right out of the jar and they're a great price I also always buy my organic coconut flakes for my smoothie bowls at Trader Joe's less than two dollars a bag and they are the perfect size of flakes i usually add half a tablespoon to a tablespoon again to a smoothie bowl you can even top a smoothie with it to give that little bite of coconut and actually it's really good for you because it's literally just coconut that is dry there's no added sugar or sweeteners another staple from trader joe's are canned beans i buy all my beans from Trader Joe's if I don't have them in stock from the Thrive Market. Black beans, cannellini beans, garbanzo beans, kidney beans, you name it, they have it. And generally for organic beans, they're only 99 cents a can. You always wanna buy your beans or your legumes organic because again, they're heavily sprayed with chemicals and glyphosate, again, that active ingredient in Roundup. You guys know I love the sprouted sourdough bread. This bread is so hearty and it packs seven grams of protein per slice and is only two smart points. Two smart points for seven grams of protein in bread is excellent. It's sprouted. I just store it in my freezer and I pop out a slice or two whenever I'm looking to make avocado toast, toast, or a sandwich, and it's extremely affordable. It's a good replacement for Ezekiel bread and it costs about half maybe a third of what the Ezekiel bread costs. Great option at Trader Joe's. If you're a tahini lover, Trader Joe's sells an organic tahini that is great in price. It is such a great price for tahini. Tahini is used in so many recipes. You can make dressings out of it, miso soup, you name it. You can pick it up at Trader Joe's. Another thing I love 
Oh, just that comfort food is a grilled cheese sandwich on some of that Trader Joe's sprouted bread and pair that with their organic roasted red pepper soup. This comes in a carton similar to like a chicken or a beef broth. This soup is amazing. The flavor is on point. It's thick. It's absolutely delicious. And again, you can store it in your pantry and then serve it up with an amazing grilled cheese for dinner. I also buy my nutritional yeast at Trader Joe's. If you don't know what nutritional yeast is, basically they call it vegan Parmesan. So it's a flake that has a little bit of cheese taste. So it's great to put on anything you'd put Parmesan on. So I like to put it on salads. It's really good on top of vegetables just to add that kind of cheesiness to your vegetables. Nutritional yeast is really, really good for you. And the price at Trader Joe's is awesome. It comes in a resealable bag. So you just throw it in your pantry and use it as desired. As you know, I buy most of my produce from Trader Joe's because they have the best selection of organic produce. And it's so incredibly affordable. I buy all my bags salads there. Pretty much most of my produce comes from Trader Joe's. So highly recommend that if you have one in your area that you pick up your organic produce there. Everything from potatoes to salad mixes, you name it, they have it and it's a great option and super affordable. Also in the produce section, you're going to find jicama sticks. These have become one of my favorite things. So jicama is kind of in resemblance of a potato, but kind of sweet. So these sticks, they have that starchy, crunchy texture of a raw potato, but they're really sweet. I love to dip these in hummus. You can put them in dressing. I mean, you can eat them all by themselves. They're really, really good. They're crunchy and sweet and very good for you. They come in a little plastic container with a lid, so they last quite a while in a refrigerator. Again, their produce cannot be beat at Trader Joe's, especially if you're in the market for organic. A few snack ideas. I just wanted to pop in a few snack items because we're all snacking right now since we're stuck at home. First off, Trader Joe's sells grass-fed beef sticks. They sell chomp sticks. They have beef, they have turkey. I know that the turkey chomp stick, I want to say for a big stick is like one to two smart points. This is a great snack option, something you can keep in your purse, keep in your car, always have on hand, super low in smart points, packed with protein, and a great price at Trader Joe's. Also, they sell organic beef jerky. So if you're a jerky fan, they have tons of options at Trader Joe's. Again, such a great healthy option for a snack. You know I love the Lundberg brown rice cakes. I love these. Excellent ingredients. I no longer eat any type of rice cake just due to the ingredients and it being more of a processed rice or a GMO rice. So these Lundberg organic brown rice cakes are so good. My favorite thing in the world to have on these is one tablespoon of peanut butter and then I top it with a few raisins like these big juicy Thompson raisins or golden raisins. Oh, so delicious. And the whole snack is four smart points. I don't count raisins. As you know, I don't count dried fruit, especially if it's unsweetened because I'm only using maybe five raisins on my rice cake. So it's a four smart point snack packed with protein, whole food. Highly recommend these rice cakes. If you are someone that traditionally likes to have rice cakes on hand, this is a clean, healthy option. Now this next item, these are so good. I can't buy these. I cannot have these in my house because I literally will eat the entire bag. I'm not even joking. They're that good. These are the organic corn dippers. So these are like a supersized Frito. They're big. They're crunchy. Oh my gosh. They're so delicious. Now I will say that they are made with a sunflower oil, which is not expeller press. So not the best oil, but overall being organic, at least they're not using GMO corn. They're using a non GMO corn. They're really, really good. So if you're looking for a corn chip for dips or parties or events, or maybe to have with your family one night for dinner, this is a great option. Again, the only thing I don't love is that they're using non expeller press sunflower oil. So speaking of peanut butter, they have a great selection of all types of nut butters, several organic. I generally only buy the organic versions of peanut butter, almond butter. They have sunflower butter, cashew butter, you name it. They have it at Trader Joe's. Lots of great options. The most important thing, if you're not 
really particular on buying your nut butters organic is to look at the ingredient label and make sure that there's no added oil. So nothing like soybean oil or palm oil or vegetable oil, and also make sure that there's no added sugar. So you should only see one to two ingredients on the back of your nut butter, the nut, and maybe some salt. So there are several great options at Trader Joe's. I generally buy my nut butter at Costco because it's a little bit more affordable, but again, we're at Trader Joe's already, so it's a great time to stock up on nut butters, and they're super shelf stable. Some of them require you to refrigerate them after opening, but they literally last months and months. There's two great popcorn options as well. First is your traditional kernels, organic popping a corn. I love that this is organic. You guys have to remember that if it's not, it's GMO. So we wanna make sure that we're buying our popcorn organic. So this is a great option for seeds. Now popcorn is zero smart points on purple if you pop it yourself. You can add a ton of things to jazz up your popped corn. I will tell you one thing that's fantastic is nutritional yeast so it makes it like a cheesy popcorn so if i do pop my own i'll spray it with a little bit of my chosen foods avocado oil spray and i'll toss in some nutritional yeast mix it all up and i have cheesy whole clean food popcorn and lastly the other popcorn option is their organic olive oil popcorn i've hauled this several times i love this popcorn it is so good it is popped in olive oil best of the best for oils with popcorn it's literally popcorn olive oil and salt and it's so good the popcorn is nice and crunchy it's got just the right amount of salt I love it. You can have a ton for four to five smart points. So it's a great option for popcorn. And if you are on purple, you do have to count points for this one because it's popped in oil. But for those of us on blue, green, or even purple, it's a clean popcorn. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely delicious. And the last category of things at Trader Joe's that are great in your pantry are dried fruits and nuts. Now I want to preface this with, I do not count points for dried fruit as long as there's no added sugar. I tend to not overeat that. So I'm eating the same amount of dried fruit as I would regular fruit. And I usually drink water to kind of rehydrate that dried fruit as I eat it. Now, if you want to count dried fruit, by all means, count dried fruit, but I just wanted to put that out there before we get into the dried fruit and nut options at Trader Joe's. I love their golden raisins. They're so good. Again, I like to pair these with my rice cake and nut butter. It just adds that perfect combination of sweet and salty. And as you know, I also buy their dried bean cherries. These I love for baking, and I also love to top salads with these. They're big, juicy, dried cherries. They're so good. You literally put five or six on your salad, and it's a great sub for those oil, not so great ingredient craisins, and it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love it on salad especially. They also sell dried mango that has nothing added to it. This is another great option if you're wanting a sweet snack. This dried mango is an excellent choice because there's no added sugar. So for me, it's zero smart points. I usually have one to two slices of the mango and it just satisfies that sweet craving. It's really absolutely delicious. And they also now have an organic dried mango fruit bar. So this kind of resembles fruit roll-ups. Remember those as kids? And again, I would count this as zero points because all it is is mango dried pressed into a bar form. But this is a great option to have in your purse when you're just needing a snack. It's a wholesome organic mango snack. You can leave these in your car. They're great in your kids' lunches or for lunch for yourself. Really, really good option for dried fruit. Trader Joe's also has a couple of freeze-dried options. Blueberries, and raspberries, both are delicious. Again, I don't count points for freeze-dried fruit either. I generally don't just eat this as a snack. I like to put freeze-dried fruit on my smoothie bowls, but again, you can just eat it right out of the bag, but just make sure you're drinking some water with it to kind of rehydrate that fruit. But it's a great option. It's shelf-stable, car-stable, purse-stable. Again, it's great just to have on hand if you need a snack, and it's better than going through your local drive-through for a snack. And again, dried fruit for me is zero points. Speaking of fruit, I want to talk about a fruit spread that Trader Joe's sells as well. This is their organic super fruit or fruit spread, generally icy strawberry. This is a great jam option. I don't eat sugar-free, as you know, so this is a great option if you are a jelly or a jam lover. It's way less sugar than traditional jam. It's really delicious, and it tastes literally like you crushed up a strawberry or a piece of fruit and spread it on your toast. So it's an excellent option. And again, if you're trying to stay away from sugar-free, this is a pretty point doable option for jam or jelly. 
Trader Joe's also has a great price on dates. Now dates are great to add as your sweetener to baked goods. So you can crush those up in a food processor, mash them up, and it makes a great sweetener in baked goods. One of my other favorite things to do with dates is to split it open and fill it with some nut butter. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's such a great combination. Again, that salty sweet. Now dates are pretty point heavy on WW. This is kind of a gray area whether you count these or not because there's no added sugar. Now if I'm using them to bake, I generally count them because I'm using a decent amount. But if I'm just eating a date filled with nut butter, I don't count the date. I only count the nut butter. Maybe I'm a rebel. I don't know. That's just how I choose to work the program. Again, as always, you count it if that makes you feel a little bit more confident in your program. And lastly are a couple of nut options. They have raw pumpkin seeds, which are a great nut choice. You can use these in baking. You guys know I top my smoothie bowls with these all the time. They're great just to reach in and grab and eat as a snack. And they also have walnut halves and pieces. Walnuts are such a heart healthy nut. Again, great to have in the morning if you're going to maybe make some eggs, have a couple points worth of walnuts. It's great for your heart. They taste delicious. And of course, they're excellent in baking. I like to add walnuts or nuts to yogurt as well. That's another thing just to stir them in and give them a little added boost. But nuts are great on WW if you just watch your portion size. My favorite nuts from Trader Joe's again are the raw pumpkin seeds and this walnut blend, but they sell everything. Cashew, almonds you name it they've got it at Trader Joe's and as far as price goes affordable now of course Costco is going to be even more affordable but if you're at Trader Joe's and you need to pick up some nuts it's a great price there as well all right my friends that is everything Trader Joe's clean eating gotta have it in your pantry and refrigerator staples I hope that I shared with you some great options that you can add to your next grocery list for your next trip to Trader Joe's I love Trader Joe's. As you know, I shop there almost every single week. I'm obsessed with their produce and I like that they have healthy, clean options at affordable prices. If you live far away from a Trader Joe's, it's worth a trip. It's worth a trip every once in a while. And all of the items that I shared with you today, with the exception of maybe the lunch meat, you can store in your pantry for months and months. So stock up Get your pantry, your cupboards stocked, especially for this stay at home order and grab those things next time you're at Trader Joe's. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around. I have a WW channel where I share recipes, grocery hauls, weigh-ins, some of my favorite things like staples on the clean eating. I do follow a clean approach to the WW program and I am on the blue plan. So essentially I try to eat as clean as possible. I follow about the 90-10 rule because let's be real. You can't eat 100% clean 100% of the time. I like to give myself just a little bit of grace and eat about the 90-10 rule. Make sure you're subscribed and if you would, hit that little bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. You don't want to miss out. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love Trader Joe's and these haul ideas. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what did I share with you today that maybe you didn't think about purchasing at Trader Joe's that you're going to add to your next grocery list. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well, hanging in there and staying safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.